OpenAI has just released a new update for Codex. Codex is a direct competitor of Cloud Code. Cloud Code is a CLI based AI agent launched by Anthropic. So Codex for now is only available for the paid users. So if you are not a paid user of ChatGPT, you cannot access Codex. So in this video, we'll dive deep and test Codex and see how it performs. And also this is going to be a completely beginner friendly guide where I'll guide you that how you can start using Codex inside your CLI, inside your IDE like Cursor, Windsurf or VS Code and also how you can use Codex directly inside your browser. So before we start, please subscribe this youtube channel and click on that like button as well all right so this is the official page of codex you just go to openai.com and slash codex as i mentioned earlier you can only use codex if you are a chat gpt plus user or a pro user this is a simple command to install codex on your computer but we'll come back to that later but first let me just show you that codex is available as your ide extension that means you can install it directly inside vs code as a chat interface just like this you can also use codex in your terminal just like this and also there is a cloud version of codex as well so you can use use codex just like jules jules is a cloud ai coding agent by google so this is jules this is a browser based ai coding agent this is how it works you connect your github account then you choose a github repository and then you just like give it a command to create changing inside your code so you can use codex directly inside your cli just like cloud code or you can use it as a chat interface just like maybe like Klein or Roo code or these kind of IDE based AI coding agents or you can simply just use it inside your browser. So first let me just guide you that how you can use it inside your terminal. So you can just copy this command from here and then you can just open your terminal. Doesn't matter if you're a Mac user or a Windows user, just open your terminal and after that just paste that command inside your terminal. Press enter and now it will install codex on your computer. Right now you can see it is installed already and if I just write codex and it will just open codex in here if you are using it for the first time and if you're not logged in it will ask you to log in using your openai account and it needs your openai subscription if you don't have that subscription it will not work so once you're logged in now you can just like give it a command and then like start using it in our case let's just first choose a directory so i'll just get out of that codex terminal what i'll do i'll just like choose a directory so i've just created this empty folder i'll just copy the link to this folder and what i'll do i'll just write cd paste that link through that folder now i'm inside that folder now what i'll do i'll just like write codex again press enter and now codex will open inside this folder and now i can ask it to create maybe like a landing page or maybe a simple whatever create a dashboard for a blogs management tool so let's just like create something random i just want to show you that how it works actually so let's just see how it works right now you can see it is already it has already started working so now you can see it wants to run this command and it is asking me to approve and run this command what i'll do i'll choose the second option which is always approve this session so now it has started working let's just wait for it and see how it will finish this task the next command that it wants to run is this particular command so what i'll, I'll simply just press again and now we'll just run that run that command then there is this command i'll simply just like keep pressing isn't there any option to like auto prove all of these commands because this is what we are used to inside cursor ai agent and in fact i'm like personally a huge fan of augment code so like in there we just like auto prove all of the commands so agent is literally working on background personally i'm not a big fan of cli based ai coding agents but tools like cloud code are just like mind-blowing so that's why there is a new trend of like these cli based ai coding agents but personally i like a proper ide experience inside vs code or inside cursor or inside windsurf so right now you can see it is creating this plan the first plan was to review existing project structure and requirements then design dashboard layout data structure implement html css and js for dashboard so it has just finished the first two tasks the first one was review existing project structure and requirements the second one was design dashboard layout and data structure and the third one is implement html css and js for dashboard now it is implementing the third one and then the last step will be it will just review all of these different steps and then maybe execute this project okay so now it has just finished writing code it has just created this dashboard dot html file so now it is asking me to run this command i'll simply just run that and now it will create that dashboard dot html file by the way for this particular task codex was working for like last i think seven minutes and 31 seconds that's just like too much it's a simple html project but still it is taking so long to just create like as basic as it could be so right now you can see this dashboard file has been created in this folder so now it is creating css for this dashboard because if you just like open this file right now it has no styling so it is creating css for that and once it will be done only then we can review and see so right now apparently i think it has just finished writing code 
and now let me just see so now css is done so now if i just open dashboard and now you can see this is what it has created but so far it took like approximately 10 minutes and still it has to implement javascript as well so i think we'll have to like wait maybe like another couple of minutes but yeah this was just an example that you can use codex inside your cl as well so now let's just go ahead and start using codex inside an ide something like vs code something like cursor or windsurf so let's just see how different is the chat interface than the standard terminal interface by the way after implementing javascript this is the final result from that previous task it is still going on and i think it's been more than 11 minutes right now for this task so i'll just close this terminal i'll just close this tab and now we'll just open vs code so this is vs code you can use something like cursor or windsurf but in my case i'm going to use vs code because this is completely free to use there is no subscription so that's why i'm just going to vs code and now from here if you just go to this extensions tab and from here if you just look for codex so just like write codex and you can find codex open AI's ai coding agent so just click on install and then you can just like simply install codex so if you just open it this is the chart interface of codex this is how it actually looks like so here you can see the chart interface is kind of similar to what we already have in something like line or root code it's a bit different because we cannot select any third party ai models we can only choose between gpt5 models in here there are different options here the first one is chat or plan the second one is agent and the third one is agent full access so i think let's just choose agent full access and now let me just give it that same prompt create our dashboard for our blogs create a dashboard for our blogs management tool i'll simply just press enter and now let's just see how long it will take to create this simple task so far you can see it is still thinking because we chose this gpt5 codex high so this long thinking is just like annoying i think so i think because we are using gpt5 codex high if you are using gpt5 codex low or medium so the thinking time would be different than what it is now here you can see it has listed all of these different tasks here the first one was completed now it is creating the second task which is implement layout and styling for the dashboard the third one is add interactivity and sample data so let's just wait for it and see how long it will take to complete this particular task as we know the codex cli took around 11 and a half minutes to create that basic task so let's just see how long this will take okay so now apparently it has just finished this task and this is what it has created let me just open this index.html so this is what it has created so the chat interface created this and this is what cli interface created overall it took comparatively less time in thinking and i think it completed this task in around five minutes and you can see it has created this index.html then style.css and app.js so the problem with codex is you can only use gpt5 which i personally think is not the best model out there for writing code i'm personally a huge fan of cloud sonnet 4 and 4.1 so that's why i use augment code you can use something like kilo code or something like Klein or Roo code as well and then you can use just any ai model that you want now let me just show you that how you can use codex inside a browser so you can just go to chatgpt.com slash codex and then after that you can simply just connect your github account just simply log in using your github account and then authorize chat gpt codex and now you can access all of your github repositories right here inside codex so i'll just choose a random github repository from here just to show your demo and now you can simply just click on this create environment so now just open your github repository right inside codex so right now you can see my github repository is selected here and i have selected this particular branch because there is only one branch and now you can just like assign it any sort of task i think this kind of web based agents are good for code review so i'll just ask it to do a detailed code review and maybe find bugs so this is how you can use codex differently in different scenarios i think you should use codex inside your ide that just gives like a better experience i'll create more videos about codex and also i'll compare codex with cloud code as well but if you ask for my personal opinion i do not recommend you using codex as your main ai coding agent you can just like you can just maybe use it for like small fun projects but i recommend you using like maybe cursor because in cursor you can still use gpt5 because to use codex it will cost you around 20 dollars and similarly it will cost you 20 dollars to use cursor as well so i think in terms of agentic capabilities cursor is far more superior than codex if you have any further questions just leave your comments in comment section i see you next video bye bye